The title of biggest video game franchise ever brings with it a ton of financial opportunities, either for the greedy owners whose eyes light up like Mr. Krabs's at the sight of the littlest bit of money, or for the Turkish man in the bazaar who turn anything into a knockout for profit. Today I'll be going through the weirdest, most cursed Pokemon products, both original and fake. Well, I'm not faking anything with that up my I'm feeling hungry. Not only for views, please subscribe. So, let's start off by acknowledging the culinary aspect of the matter. If you go to Japan or South Korea, you'll see the hellhole called the Pokemon Food Pyramid. At the bottom, we have the usual Pokemon Box Ramen, and I swear, every time I see one of those, it's a different design. Moving up to the next layer, we have this Pokemon Fruit Juice with mango and orange, or with grape and apple. The Pokemon Lords clearly haven't been listening to Baby No Money, because I couldn't find any vegetable merchandise, so here's a cursed Bay Day Beat. The next stop is meat. We have the <coughs> Japanese Pokemon Curry Sauce with pork and sweet corn. This just screams, Baby, okay, you haven't touched your Sonic Curry. If you see someone with this lying in their pantry, run away, okay? Hide outside in the bushes and call the police. Cause not even the most heart-wrenching divorce would send a man down this wrong footpath. Next up we have the Pokemon milk or Pokemon yogurt. I even have some here in my country, the land of wild grabbers. And at the top, sugars and fats. This section could honestly be never ending. From cereal to Oreos to cheese balls to cookies, every type of snack you know has probably been Pokemonified. Absolutely crazy. And I'm only talking about licensed products. The bag must be insane. What is also insane for me are these Pokemon fish sausages. Yes, you heard me correctly. Fish sausages. Like your usual fella, I like my fair bit of sausage, but introducing fish to the mix kind of sets me on both sides of the spectrum. I was also worried the chance for my eyes to see this. Man, after a long day at work, I'm surely gonna come home to my Pokemon X and my tidy and seaweed soup. Absolutely lovely. But one to top it off must be Pokemon Heights Pasta. Like, I love Pokemon, but what the hell do they know about pasta? Enough about food, let's talk drinks. You had to have your Pokemon sodas and Q-Doll has got you covered. The cans look really sick, I can't even lie. Delving deeper, I found this, which is really weird. It says Japanese energy drink, but for kids, did they mean hydration drink like Prime? Or what the hell does Japan put in its energy drinks? In Japan, energy drinks have been sold as soft drinks since 2005, and the market is expanding annually. Convenience stores and vending machines allow both adults and children to purchase energy drinks without restrictions. More you know. Also, why the fuck is this legal? The food rabbit hole is generally the deepest one. I could sit in and go through probably thousands of entries, all licensed, but I have to stop because there are other categories. But if you ever get the time and leave the Rule 34 Vaporian section, then check them out. It's honestly quite... Amazing. In a weird fashion. Now, talking about fashion, are you into fashion? Check out this Pokemon bra designed to hold away your Voltorbs. You can also get the bottom half for the cloister. Are you into high fashion? Well, Pokemon's got you covered with their Gucci collabs. Cause that's the thing the average Pokemon player wants the most. Gucci flip flops. But the other thing regarding this is that it's an only Pokemon Go. Which makes it even more random. I know it's not a physical product, but I still have to include it cause it's just insane. Some actual physical pieces of very expensive products that were probably made somewhere in Asia for like a thousand parts of the price are this year's collaboration with Fendi. Given that 2024 is the year of the dragon, Roar. They've released a couple of accessories regarding the routine and its evolutions. Thankfully, it's targeted at women who are more into fashion. So if I had to guess, if you're a Pokemon girl fan, you'd love to have that cute little Dratini handbag. That one is actually pretty. Do you perchance want to level up your bathroom routine? Well, Pokemon's got you covered with toothpaste, toothbrushes, bath bombs, toilet paper, bathrobe, soap, shower gel, curtains, freaking skin care products. Is that every guest that enters your bathroom think that you're an actual maniac? A Pokemaniac. Yeah, am I right, guys? No, but actually, skincare products. The stuff you literally like. As the name says, you know, you put it on your skin. Like, it's very sensitive. And to have a tube with Jigglepuff or something on it. Uh, I'll stray away from that, okay? It's, it's not for me. You're better off trying Indian fake perfume that will melt your neck, entering the IRL version of Spiral the Dragon. Speaking of cologne, right after you exit your murder scene incoming looking bathroom, you can suit up yourself to make the ladies thirsty for your fine touch with a couple of pops of this little bad boy. This looks so fake, how is this real? Also, this review is really funny, post read. You can wipe off your shame with these essential oil protective patches. I don't know what they can do, but you know, wipe the shame. One thing I do know is that whilst researching at 2am, this fucking site's customer service thingy popped up a couple of seconds after I opened this site and it made a loud noise that made me piss my Pokemon boxers and my heart literally did the backflip. Thankfully, I have this conveniently segued Pokemon X-ray machine to see if I'm alright. Bringing Krogang to tell you that you've suffered a career-ending knee injury is always a fun afternoon story. You could probably build a career just off of that. Really so much as well, like, who don't want to wear that, you know? You know the drill. You're all cleaned, all freshened up. Now do you wanna go out and pull some chicks, as they say? Well, brother, I have the perfect vehicle for you. The Pikachu Mobile or the Pikabug. This beautiful Volkswagen new Beetle with a 2-liter 4-cylinder ASOHC engine and a horsepower of 150 not 5200 rpm perfect for you and your upcoming glass to have some naughty fun at the town's viewpoint we've also got airplanes i was waiting to crash with captain pikachu by my side fake fairy tale books probably to hide something on the shelves but it's literally the worst product for that if i were at someone's house and i saw a fucking shaming 
fairy tale on the shelf. That would be the first book that I grab. I'd be disappointed it was empty. I left the license part of the products here with one special more entry the whole Pokemon Center website. There you have everything from kitchen objects to figurines, pins, plushies, clothing, like everything, literally everything, including a Halloween section. It's August for fuck's sake. This juggernaut ain't playing around. Now, let's show some love to the common arts craft enjoyers. Let me slip into the proper attire. Perfect. So, let's talk about sex toys. Pokemon is a perfect gift for your lady friends with whom you're close enough for them to understand your humor and not block you if you are to send them this. Your buddies who are internally still on the journey of discovering their inner sexuality or that one mate who constantly touches you in public. We've all got that one. Now, you have to pick your starter. Charmander. With Charmander, you're in for a blasting experience. Squirtle makes the cloister well. Self-explanatory. And Bubblesaur takes a bit of time to grow on you. Or better said, in you. Let's not forget to pick up you up your ass for an electrifying experience. This should make me the salesman. I'd be ecstatic to add that to my resume. If you want to scare your kids for life, give them this Frankenstein plush for their fourth birthday. They'll scream their lungs off, so that means they love it. Don't have a word to keep your cigarettes bought by peace? Eastern European reference? Well, you're in luck. You can use this very trendy, very modern, very human Pikachu cigarette case. You still in the mood for a smoke? Then check out this Pokeball Herb Grinder. Perfect for the kitchen and other stuff. This could literally be set up as decor. The guys come over, you ask them if they wanna hit a little, but before they unbuckle their pants, you pull this from the shelf and show them, like, you're cool as hell. That's if it pertains to smell as well, otherwise you're kinda fucked. Are you and your lady in the mood for some freak action? We're really lucky yet again, thanks to the vast majority of Pokemon condoms. Don't catch them all, gotta fuck them all. Choose your starter, it's super effective. I choose you. Pawns ride themselves. For the family game night, instead of the blatant old and boring monopoly or snakes and ladders, play Pokemonica. This strange Pokemon bootleg board game will have the kids wondering either if you're broke or mentally ill. Never make it easy for them, always in from one side to the other. You wanna keep the folk freshened up in the car? Then get this Pikachu car freshener for an electrifying smell during your 12 hour road trip. You can also use this phone holder for a GPS so it have a cute face to stare at whilst the wife is screaming at the kids to sit down and the GPS fucks you in the ass and takes you on roads that make you pray to god your car doesn't break down otherwise you'd feature in the next Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The last thing I want to show you are these Pokeball shaped healing crystals. Do they work like a healer? Does Nerdzoy take my soul in the back and place it in the little machine and it goes pam pam parara and my soul just gets rebooted, healed, like, like, like what? And those are still only a few of the products that make the world of official merchandise and were knockoffs. I'm sure there are some even crazier. Okay, maybe not crazier than the Pikachu ball plug, but you can only hope in today's day and age. If you know other crazy stuff like this, then please let me know in the comments below. I would love to find out even more crazy stuff like that. Have a great day guys, stay safe, and as we've learned today, don't catch them all. Bye!